Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? Ryan again here with another video to help you look amazing. And just want to say what's up. Thanks for watching. So this video I got, um, I was reading an article. I think it was on Details or GQ Magazine, but it's a really good article, and it inspired me to make my own video about that article, which was seven items every man needs in his closet. And if you've been following my stuff for a while, you might be able to guess what I'm going to tell you to uh, have in your closet. If not, keep watching because... I'm going to tell you. Um, all the items I'm going to show you today, I have my list right here and my notepad on my iPhone. All these items are versatile pieces that will last you years and years and years and years. These are not things that are going to go out of style. They're just simple, basic pieces that make up a, a good foundational wardrobe for any dude looking to up his style or be the most stylish, most badass person in the room. So, without further ado, let's start out with um, number one and number two, which are starting at the feet shoes and boots okay so number one is you gotta have a badass pair of boots now these are a brand new pair of boots i got these have no laces they're a biker style boot um, i'm gonna be making a video about these where i got them and everything uh, but i'm not not so much worried about this style but just get yourself a really good pair of rugged looking boots that you can dress up you can dress down you can wear them with jeans you can wear them with dress pants but something that is just going to set you apart from everyone around you these are from Aldo, and they got cool buckles and zippers. I really like them, but they look really, really good with jeans. So that is shoe, or I'm sorry, boot number one. Get yourself a badass pair of boots because if you invest in a good pair, they'll last you at least two, three years. And the more you wear these guys, the better they look. So that's number one, a badass pair of boots. Next up is a good pair of white um, sneakers. These are actually Converse Chuck 2's. You see I wear these a lot. They got, they're not so much white anymore, which I think gives them a good character. They got like a, you know, they're a little grungy. They're getting worn in. That is the cool thing about white sneakers. The more you wear them, I think the better they look. Unless they get really super muddy, you don't want that. But these just have natural wear and these are very good. You can dress these up, you can dress them down, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with dress pants. These are a dude staple um you don't have to go with converse if you don't like them pf flyers makes all white ones you can get van skate highs um a lot of companies are making a white uh fashion style sneaker but converse is like the og been around forever and these things are just awesome and they're cheap 70 bucks and you know they're not going to last you longer probably about every six months you might want to buy a pair depending on how much you wear them but boom that is number two boots and these and white converse those are honestly, like if I could get away with wearing two shoes forever, that would be it. Um, I mean, except for gym shoes and things like that, for walking, you're gonna wanna have a nice pair of couple shoes, but that's for another video. So yeah, Converse and boots. Now, next up, you need a good selection of jackets. And I've narrowed it down to two essential jackets that both of which you can dress up or down. Um, number one being, the waxed denim jacket. If you see myself a while, you know I'm a huge fan of these. They look really good um, dressed up or down. A lot of companies have them, but black denim, and if you can get it with the waxy look, just even better. Um, you can wear these with a, a dress shirt, a tie, wear it with a t-shirt, a Henley, a sweater. These things are just a versatile piece. And this thing is actually going on year number probably three of me owning it. Um, the, unfortunately, the company that made this is not in business anymore. It's called Victorious. Um, I bought it from a company called 20 Jeans, which then became um, distilled, but they don't carry this jacket anymore. So, um, but a lot of companies make wax denim jackets. So grab yourself one. Um, this thing was like a hundred bucks when I bought it, but it's lasted three years. And I think the more you wear it, just the better it looks. Okay, so that is number three, the wax denim or black denim jacket. Um, next up on the list is 2015 right now is the year of the uh, the bomber jacket. So I went ahead and I invested in a nice slim fitting, really sleek looking bomber jacket. I think this is awesome. You can dress up and down, wear it with sweaters. It's just a great piece. This is never going to go out of style. It's got the zipper detailing there. It's awesome. This is from Urban Outfitters. It's called Your Neighbors. Real. It's, this is a lighter weight, but they make heavier weight bomber jackets depending on where you live I live in Florida it doesn't get very cold so lightweight is perfect for me but that is jacket number two and I think with those two jackets you can really uh, 
diverse yourself and make a lot of cool different outfits with those two. So next up, staying with the outerwear trend, a good, great quality gray hoodie. Um, it can have a hood, it doesn't have to have a hood, but just a good quality gray hoodie is essential to dressing up or you know wearing casually. You can wear it with a shirt underneath or a collar showing, you can wear it with um, a t-shirt underneath, you can wear it with no shirt underneath, just have the hoodie as one layer, but it looks really good with dark denim and a nice pair of shoes. And it's always good to have a hoodie that is a comfortable hoodie. This one is from uh, Paxson, it's got cool zippers on the side that you can open up. It's got the flat pockets in the front. Um, just a really cool hoodie. I think I bought this for like 30 bucks. But yeah, um, Old Navy has basic crew neck hoodies. Um, everywhere H&M has basic crew neck hoodies. You can get a good gray hoodie anywhere. And you can, like I said, dress it up, dress it down. It is just a great versatile piece to have in your wardrobe. Now, last but not least, the only pair of pants I think you need is a good pair of dark denim. Um, these are once again have that waxy look. I really like that. But a black pair of denim can go so far um, and they're super versatile. These are from Diesel. They're the Slinkers. Um, I wear these all the time right now. They're my favorite pair of jeans. I actually have the bottoms tailored. But a good pair of dark denim. Um, I also have dark blue, but for the sake of this video, if you're only going to buy one pair, get a pair of black with a cool finish to it. So. That was six items I think everybody should know. And last but not least, number seven, I'm actually wearing it right now, I'm taking it off, is a good versatile belt. I think a lot of people overlook the quality and the importance of a good belt. This is uh, from Levi's. I bought it for like 40 bucks, Levi's Chasco. It is actually reversible. It's black on one side, brown on the other. Um, not a really light brown, so if you have a lot of light brown shoes, you're gonna want to wear it on the black side or get yourself a secondary um, belt just for when you wear those lighter brown shoes. So, but yeah, a good belt is essential to dressing up your outfit and hold your pants up. A lot of people overlook this and you want to try not to let it get too fucked up here. I know this one's got some wear to it, but I'm actually probably going to get myself a new one here shortly. Um, and I actually made a couple of dip, um, in between holes because if your weight fluctuates a bit, it's good to have a little comfort there. But yeah, never underestimate the importance of a good belt. So that is seven essentials every guy needs in his wardrobe. Um, if you have any other ones, um, please drop them in the comments. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like this style of video. I'll keep making them. I'd love to get a video with 100 likes. Um, I think I, the most I got so far is like 75. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, leave in the comments items maybe I missed or you think I should include. But that is my seven essential items that I think every dude should have in their closet right now for a versatile wardrobe. That's it.